The village of Bishop Hill, Illinois is hosting its Christmas market two weekends in a row. Todd Decker is joining us with the festive fun we can all enjoy beginning next Friday, November 24th. Todd, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Bishop Hill, of course, uh, many of us know it has Swedish roots, mm -hmm. uh, a very historic village, and uh, this Christmas market uh, incorporates all of that. Uh, pronounce it again. You'll mark not. You'll mark not. Yeah. So that's, and it starts with a J. <laughs> it starts with a J. <laughs> it starts with a J. It's very Swedish. Um, so talk a little bit about, um, you know, what people can expect when they head out uh, starting right after Thanksgiving. Right. We have two weekends of You'll mark not. You'll mark not. Uh, Christmas market's a very big European tradition that yes. we try to emulate here in Bishop Hill. So uh, starting the Friday after Thanksgiving, of course, is when our Christmas market starts. And uh, some of the Swedish traditions that we try to do is uh, we have our kids dressed up as Swedish Christmas elves oh. called Yule Tompton. <laughs> and uh, it's actually the Swedish traditions, they're the ones that actually deliver the gifts in Sweden, mm -hmm. not Santa. Oh. So, but we have ours roaming around town, greeting people, peeking around windows and corners. Uh, another Swedish tradition we have is the Yulebok, which is the Christmas goat. Okay. Um, that is made into a straw goat. Uh, Yavla in uh, Sweden has a straw goat uh, they build each year as big, big as a house. Is that what you brought in today? Yeah, that's it's what I brought. Oh, yeah, here it's we a, go. We're a, a small one. <laughs> but also there's a tradition where one of the villagers in a town would dress up as a goat and go around playing tricks on people. So they think they're seeing this goat roaming around. Yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a goat roaming around the Chappelle during those weekends. Uh, he's a friendly goat, but don't be surprised <laughs> if he try to do a little dance with you or try to steal your mittens. It, they'll get returned later. <laughs> <laughs> That makes it a lot of fun. And you've got other holiday activities. You've got music and... Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, uh, we have Swedish music playing all over town. Uh, we have uh, cookie walks, chocolate walks, uh, doll horse painting, uh, station at the Vasa Archives. We have... Uh, There's a railroad model train, right? Model train and Christmas that's, display. I'm sure that's a big attraction. draw for some young kids. Uh, you have... Uh, Kids can come to the steeple building on the second weekend of Yule Mark Nam, make and take their own Christmas ornaments. Okay. We have a traveling Swedish folk music group coming oh. in the second weekend of Christmas Market, which is the first weekend of December, to do a free uh, Swedish and Christmas song workshop. Just come in and learn. So they are doing. Music. They are calling it folk capella. They, they call it. They call it folk capella because folk -pella. it's folk music, and they're a cappella. They don't use instruments, they just use their voices. <laughs> and they're doing a workshop on it. Workshop. So you can learn mm -hmm. how to do this as well. And then stick around for their concert. Stick for a concert later. And you can buy chocolate by the pound, I hear. <laughs> yes. That chocolate is by the pound. Right up my alley. <laughs> chocolate by the pound, one weekend. Cookies by the pound, the other weekend. So, yes, we, you know, they want you to come and, you know, check out our shopping, of course, but there's a lot of free activities. It's a very family-friendly event. Is this the first time that you've done it on both weekends, or is that kind of a traditional thing that you do? That's a unique that an event does that. Yes, it's something we've been. It's something we just do in Bishop Hill. We've been doing it for years. It, it seems to work out pretty well because, as you know, you know, day after Thanksgiving, a lot of people are trying to get their, you know, main Christmas shopping done. Yep. So we offer the second weekend in case they want to go out and get the uh, Swedish Christmas experience. Yeah, it's really great. It gives you something to do and have fun and then something to look forward to the following weekend. All right, well, here's that information. The Bishop Hill Christmas Market, it starts next Friday, runs through that weekend, also happening on the following Saturday and Sunday, December 2nd and 3rd. Uh, you can find much more information about this event and Bishop Hill in general by heading to visitbishophill.com. Uh, Todd, thank you so much for, for being here and, and talking about everything with us today. Well, thanks for having me.